are at the airport and we are ready to check in. However, our flight is not ready for us. British Airways only allows you to check in two hours before your flight. Our flight's at three and the counter only opens at one. So we're here waiting in line with like a whole bunch of other people uh, waiting to check in for our flight so that we can go use the lounge. The beautiful thing is that this is a very nice airport. Our driver who was driving us around yesterday said that um, China had invested some money in, in this country so they really upgraded the airport. We made it through security. That was one of the more seamless ones that we've done before. Terrible. Yeah, the uh, passport control guy was super nice. He wished Bernardo a happy birthday, which is really sweet. We have about an hour and a half before our flight to... Turks and Caicos. <laughs> I forgot where we were going. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna look for a lounge now. Find some food and some drinks and, and some, some Wi-Fi. They're selling Antigua hot sauce. Did you see that? Yeah. It's like Cholua bottles. All right, I think that we are almost here. When you first get into the uh, airport and then you pass through security, it's actually on the far left side past gate one. So it's called the executive lounge and we're going to uh, do some work. Let's go. We just checked into this lounge and it is so beautiful. There's like nobody here and we're excited to see what kind of snacks they have for us to eat. Looks like it's some fruit, some wraps, some salad, some cake, coffee and tea, and a pumpkin and ginger soup. So, yes! Free food! Okay, we are on the outside of the airport and they actually have a lounge seating area right outside the airport. It is so beautiful. There's like all this seating out here to enjoy the nice weather of the island. And it's a little windy today, but there's no one out here. So you can definitely get some peace and quiet. Just don't forget to um, make sure that you catch your flight. All right, now we are full of food that we actually got from outside because there wasn't any hot food when we were um, sitting here and hanging out but they did end up serving some like little quiches and stuff. Um, we still ended up getting pizza, which was super delicious. And now we're about to board our flight with British Airways from Antigua to Turks and Caicos. We are boarding our plane. Let's go. One more British Airway airline to Turks and Caicos from Antigua. Oh my gosh, this is our last island. We have found our seats. It's uh, probably a really long flight from London, so this is the pit stop before they end up in Chile. So onward we go. <laughs> tired. Because these people are more tired than us. They just flew like 16 hours. 12 hours? 16 hours? They're just like making it up.
here. We're getting off the plane. We are room 17-2. We are at the Vista Azul. Standing shower. That's what you want, right? Yeah. I mean, there's only one set of towels. Okay, we left our Airbnb and we're walking to the grocery store. Apparently, it's twenty dollars each way, and we already paid twenty dollars to get from the airport to our Airbnb, which is a ten-minute drive. This is apparently a three-minute drive, and it's about a two-k walk. So. We're gonna save the 20 bucks, but maybe there's a nice person who will drive us three minutes back home. We're definitely getting our work workout in for the day and <laughs> walking, because it's good for you. It's great for you. I see buildings. We walked like 30 minutes from Airbnb to the supermarket. <laughs> so in efforts of trying to save money, and Turks and Caicos is expensive, we are trying to not rent a car, but even though we want to rent a car, all the car rental services are closed on a Sunday, so we have no choice but to walk. We're gonna get some groceries, gonna make some food, and save those mula. What's going on? We just spent $150 on groceries, and we didn't even buy like the extravagant stuff, we only buy the necessities. And to be honest, Turks and Caicos is turning out to be really expensive. But we're doing the best we can to save money on food and we want to save even more money so we don't want to pay for a, a $20 cap back to our hotel. We're carrying all these crazy stuff and walking back to our hotel while the sun is setting and it's getting dark. Oh my god. We literally were talking on the camera for like less than five minutes and the sky was getting dark, the lights were all turned, there was no lights, like the sun was setting and this like Samaritan just stopped his car and he was like, where are you going? And we were just like deer caught in the headlights, like looking at each other and like, is this guy really serious right now? And usually, usually people tell you like to not get into a stranger's car, right. but at this point in time, we were kind of desperate. It was a desperate situation. Our arms were falling off. We got all of this grocery. Like, as you can see, three, four, four bags full of stuff to last us for the four days while we're here. But it, it was like an angel just fell upon us and he didn't even ask us for money. He just literally dropped us off and then you turned around and went back to where he was going. My first instinct was that he's probably going to ask us for money and at that point, like, I'm just going to pay. Like, you know, it's whatever. Uh. And then he just like dropped us off. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver because he really saves our lives. Can't imagine. Like we bought so much liquids. They're really heavy. Yeah. I don't know what frame of mind we thought we can carry <clears throat> them back, but. We're back now. They're good so... people in Turks and Caicos. So, so let's, uh, what? Stock our fridge up. <laughs> So what's for dinner? We are making pan sear red snapper with some potatoes and vegetables. As you can see, very well stocked. And we usually get the groceries that we usually got. And in New York, that will probably cost you less than $90 or $80. 
But down here, everything is marked up at least 30 to 40 percent. We're kind of stuck in an island. We have no choice. Everything is imported. Honestly, if we eat in a restaurant, that would probably be the cost of our one meal, which is dinner, for a hundred something dollars. So if we can split that one meal to four or five meals, that will save us a lot of money. This is going on a budget in the Caribbean islands. We're having red snapper for dinner. And dinner is served. Look at it. We are currently at the beautiful Taylor Bay Beach. It is a beautiful, 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 beautiful strip of sandy, white, beautiful beach that is in Turks and Caicos. We are here just mesmerized. Check it out. <laughs> How was it? So glad to be back on land. <laughs> Not that I wasn't over there. Let's say, you didn't leave. <laughs> you didn't leave, exactly. This is Turks and Caicos and the beach is beyond gorgeous. The sand is so comfortable on your feet because it's so fine and powdery that it, it's like you're stepping on cloud. And the water, oh my goodness, look at the water here. It's so pretty and cerulean because the water is so shallow. The breeze is beautiful and I just, I just feel like I'm on paradise. I cannot find any other way better to celebrate my birthday here. We are currently at the highest point in Turks and Caicos and we're gonna walk up to the peak just to see what it looks like. It's supposed to be really spectacular. You can see the entire island from where we will be. So let's go check it out and see what it looks like. Check out this beautiful view. You can see the whole island from here. Wow. We are on the easternmost side of Provo now, and earlier we were on the western side, and we're just checking out the beautiful view on the other side. Oh. So, that's the kind of thing. Oh, that's the kind of 
Let's try it out. When should I stop? That was just a splash. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, an ounce? <laughs> it's gonna get fed up. <laughs> we can get fed together. <laughs> and apparently, you're supposed to have it with pineapple juice, but we found. Paradise Blend. Paradise Blend, which is apparently much tastier. Oh, it's... It's interesting. Here we go. Good morning. Today is Bernard's birthday. Happy birthday, Bernard! Woo! And we are on our way to find a little kayak rental place so that we can um, explore the waters and get some nice drone footage. If that doesn't happen, we're going to look for snorkeling and maybe chill out on the beach. It's a great way to spend the day relaxing and enjoying the island of Turks and Caicos. Let's go. Today we're going to rent a car so we can do a full day tour around the island. It's gonna be really nice because yesterday is cloudy, today the sun is out, the water is gonna look beautiful. And honestly, I'm really excited. Let's go exploring day two, Turks and Caicos. Bob, we just rented our car and um, we also rented a set of uh, snorkeling gear for the day. It's about $57 for the car, a one day rental, 24 hours, which is perfect for us because we're checking out tomorrow. And a snorkeling gear is about $15 set for about a day too. So I think it's a pretty affordable thing because granted that like if you take taxi from point to point, it goes, it's going to cost you 20 bucks anyway. So, um, we're excited we have a car. It's a small hatchback Toyota, and they drive on the right here. So that means Weedy has to stay on the left side. I have never driven on the right side of the road that you have to stay on the left side. So this should be interesting. I'm gonna look up the directions of where we're headed. It's about six miles away. And we're gonna go, uh, <laughs> Explore! You took me down this path. Big blue collective, and we're gonna figure out if they have some kayaks for us to take and rent. Okay. 
What a day, what a day. It is so beautiful out there, like kayaking over turquoise water that's only like five to six inches deep. It's so shallow that it's so beautiful, I can't even describe it. And the mangroves are so cool, so beautiful that um, the islands are protected and you can see wildlife around. There was a little bit of accident when we docked our kayak and I cut myself a little bit but it's nothing life-threatening it's just like a grace but I'm alive we are going snorkeling today and we are in the iconic Smith Reef it's so iconic to the point where you step off the beach just dive and you can see corals so let's go check it out all right so we found the perfect spot we think we're gonna check out the reef really quickly. B is getting into the water and we're just gonna see what it looks like before we decide that this is our permanent spot. As you can see, there is no one, no one on this beach. So the first spot didn't work out too well for us. Um, it looks like there was a lot of seagrass in the water. Uh, we're checking out another location. B is going back in again and hopefully it'll be some fishies, some corals. Let's hope so. <laughs> Attempt number three. Uh, the last two places were not so great. We found a little bit of coral in a second uh, spot, but Unfortunately, there wasn't enough, so we're gonna keep looking. Uh, B is on his third time in. It's 12 o'clock. We had breakfast, we did laundry, we packed everything we have, and now we're checking out of the La Vista Azul. It's a good location. It's a really nice vista or resort built upon a hill. The, the views are great. We're pretty central to the middle of like Turks and Caicos Island. And we're pretty close to Grace Bay, which is where we want to be. Now we're going to check out and we're going to return the car. And we're heading to our next Airbnb for one night before we fly to Miami tomorrow morning. Ooh. All done. We're going to drop off the car at car rental place called uh, Scooter Bob's. And then we're headed to our next. Airbnb, which is on Blue Hill. Okay. This is our Airbnb. We just chatted with our host, right? So her name is Betty, and she is lovely. In all honesty, I'd probably choose this over the other place. This place is $121 a night. The other one is $191 a night. So we're saving $70 for spending the last night here. It's much more peaceful and she also lets you borrow her car. That's a plus considering a car rental per day here is $50 per day. Um, if you rent more, it's like $40 a day, but still like it's so clean. You have your own bathroom your own like kitchen space, stove, fridge, and the fridge is stocked. Like there's cereal, there's milk, juice, like everything you could want. 
and there's also AC and Netflix so definitely super comfortable definitely something that like is a, a nice little vacation space but like you also get a beautiful view of the beach that's down. literally right across the street so thank you Betty we're so excited to spend a day here so cheers Wow, there's a hammock there too. So like we are on the um, Blue Hill side of Turks and Caicos, TCI. This is our Airbnb for one night. You, as you can see, there is a pool and all this other fun stuff that we can't use, unfortunately, um, because it's not clean. So hopefully this storm will pass and then we can enjoy this side of the island. It's much calmer because it's where the locals live. It's very windy, definitely. You could probably hear it. I mean, the beach on this side is more of like other stuff besides white sand, but that's because no one's taking care of it. But I feel like this is more natural. You know, this is how they, they are. Huge! We are taking our hosts a uh, car to get some food at the conch shack she's a really tall woman and i'm a really small guy and it's so crazy because this car has the driver on the left side Careful. on the left side and earlier i was driving on the right side but you still got to stay on the left side of the road so really tricky i'm still figuring it out Here we have their famous conch fritters. Um, it is served with, it looks like a spicy mayo sauce and everything is just fried to perfection. As you can also hear, there's a beautiful ambiotic sound saw man behind me. Now please. How are you feeling? I feel good. I um had some dinner and some drink and watching some Master Chef. What do you think of the last day in the islands? It's quite sad because it's raining. I wanted to go out and explore a bit, but you don't. The rain got me down. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Turks and Caicos rum with a Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's really good. You're looking very baked. I'm not baked. Baked is high. I'm not high. I'm in a good place. <laughs>